The gentleman yields back. Now I recognize the gentleman from Texas, Mr. Weber, for his five minutes of questioning. Thank you, Chairman. Um, Mr. Rodriguez, I'll start with you. Um, is there a danger? Of course, you're aware of the Transformers Amorphous uh, Steel Regulation now. Is there a danger that putting that into place, uh, that requirement will outpace the development of us trying to get our supply chains back and really working well? The, uh, I think not, and, and let me tell you why. I can understand why you would ask that question. But one of the explicit questions asked of the, all the stakeholders in the process was whether or not the timing of the uh, adoption of any such rule and, and again, recall that a rule might not be adopted, but the timing was something that was explicitly asked so that every stakeholder, everyone who had an interest and an idea and uh, uh, insight into this process could, could provide their information to the department's folks working on the standard about what the timing should be. So uh, I trust that this process works. It's, it's the most transparent process I've ever seen in my life. And I come from California, so I know regulation. Uh, uh, I will tell you that I believe that because of the considerations that are already legislatively mandated and the participation of every stakeholder who brought his or her analysis to the table, uh, I think there's... When, when was that no rule chance. first... Pro when, when was that idea first promulgated? Uh, I'm sorry, say that... When one. was that idea first promulgated? I apologize. To uh, make the, idea? makes transformers out of am amorphous steel. Oh, uh, uh, the, uh, the, the idea is not uh, uh, to make transformers that use amorphous uh, steel as their core. It was propagated by the requirement, both legislative and court order requirement, that we review the existing standards, which hadn't been reviewed since the What was the timeline on that? When did that happen? The... the the existing, the last time this was looked at... Was I'm talking about the first time. The first time for this current standard? Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, 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 I don't have the exact date, but whenever... Did you say the, one year, two years, three years previous? It, 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 it's probably been, and I apologize because I didn't work specifically on that phase of this process, so I don't know for sure. But I, I would tell you that the process is such that folks in the Office of uh, Department of Energy are continually looking at what the advancements are in technology. Well, what, I get that, but what I'm concerned about the time frame is, is are we going to have a requirement that our supply chains, quite frankly, aren't going to catch up with? And let me, let me move on because I'm going to run out of time here. Um, what about permit processes? When you've got somebody who's wanting to hopefully we'll be getting some more uh, transmission plants, some energy uh, transmission plants built, energy production, um, electric transmission, what if they're not, a, what if the permits take so long, uh, do you worry about our baseload requirements might be jeopardized because the permit process is so long? The, yeah, I, I, I'm going to share with you, uh, I think you and I are on the same page about this. If you look out the window today, you would see that the permitting process for tra new transmission, it takes so long. Now, I understand it's a deliberative process. Well, I'm talking about generation and, of course, resulting transmission. Yeah, and so what we're dealing with right now is uh, within the Department of Energy, we're doing work to speed up, speed up, the transmission permitting processes in all the various jurisdictions. Do you think that investors are hesitant to commit because they never know how long the permitting process is going to take? I, is it I, too encumbersome, in your opinion, even in I, some instances? I, 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 I can't speak for the mind of the investors, but I will say it is in the Secretary of Energy's uh, uh, not just wish list, her demand list of all of us, that the permitting process must move in a more expedient fashion so that the folks who would invest in it have more certainty about okay. the timelines. Um, golly, I've got so many questions. Should American choices, when we, when we go back to gas stoves and appliances and some of the other regulations, 
Should American consumers' buying patterns and or choices be considered, or is it all just about the consumption of energy? Uh, the consumer benefit is a core part of it. I didn't ask about the benefit. I ask about their choices. Yep. And, and uh, absolutely consumer choice is something supported by the Department of Energy. All efficiency standards do is pave the way for more efficient products that benefit Americans by, number one, helping them use well, waste less energy. Let me break it very quickly. I was an air conditioning contractor for 35 years, and the SAER ratings that first came out really in Texas, people were really griping about them. I'll yield back, Mr. Chairman. Gentlemen, time's expired. Now I'll go to Mr. Cardenas.